Okay, this is the completion of the, this is the completed thing uh, related to the total SGLC models. Okay, after that, uh, it's better to show you this document only because I am able to draw this particular diagram. Okay, you got it right. Means designing is uh, typical in Notepad. That's why I'm showing you this document. Okay, here software testing means uh, means this is nothing but here. This we are called the software testing methodologies. Okay, means up to here we discussed about SDLC, what is SDLC and what is that, what are the SDLC models. Okay, this is nothing but software methodologies. These are testing methodologies. Okay, means how many ways we can test it. Means if you go for software testing, okay, again it is divided into two types: static testing and dynamic testing. Okay, I think by seeing this uh, drawing, you are going to get an idea. Okay, I will explain in detail uh, one by one. Okay, we will go through the one by one things. What is going on inside the thing? Okay, most probably, uh, I mean, starting testing will be complete today, today itself, and uh, the dynamic testing I am going to complete most probably tomorrow because two hour sessions, right? Okay, tomorrow the uh, dynamic testing part will completed. The actual testing part will come uh, after day after tomorrow. Means the exact STLC uh, will start day after tomorrow. What exactly the particular tester will do? Okay, in which which things he is going to involve? Exact thing what he will do? So we are going to see in uh, day after tomorrow class. And means whatever the learnings we are doing now. Okay, these are the things are inputs are initial things are basics to go for that particular STLC process. Without knowing all these things, uh, it won't be understood for that particular STLC process. These are the basics or introduction to the particular STLC. Okay, let us see that. Uh, means we have static testing and dynamic testing. Okay, what is static and what is dynamic here? Any idea? Uh, based on uh, what I can see, is a static test, static, static testing. Is uh, like reviewing mm. all the technical code, all the uh, all the uh, what you call it uh, in terms of planning. Mm. So let's say verifying. Mm. Verifying will come under the static testing, and validation will come under the dynamic testing. Exactly, exactly. What the answer I am expecting you to that only because if you are not going to tell this answer, it's a waste of the thing which I spoken with you from the <laughs> class. Thank God. <laughs> Okay. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The static testing and dynamic testing, which is already I have discussed with you in V model. Okay. Nothing but mm -hmm. verification and validation part. Okay. This already I discussed mm -hmm. about it. Means reviews in phase by phase, you are going to do the reviews, right? Means in static testing, you are going to do the reviews. You are not going to test anything over there. Just you are cross checking that is that particular document is prepared as per the standards, as per the customer requirements or not. Okay, that is the thing you are going yeah. to check in static testing. In dynamic testing means you are doing some actions on the application directly. Okay, that Correct. is the dynamic testing. Okay, here I already explained about the uh, means we will go with the dynamic testing. Uh, I will give you a brief introduction about this particular uh, diagram, and after that we will go in uh, in depth uh, one by one. What is static testing? What is available? What are the reviews? Okay, we are going to uh, see those things. First, this is management reviews and technical reviews and types of reviews. Means uh, reviewing, right? Nothing but reviewing is nothing but cross checking. What is the meaning of review? Means there is a nothing but cross checking the particular activity, whatever it may be the activity, cross checking. Okay, that uh, means reviews again are further divided into management reviews, technical reviews, code reviews, formal reviews, informal reviews. Okay, here walkthroughs are nothing but knowledge transfer sessions, KT sessions. Okay, walkthroughs are nothing but means about the particular project they are giving you particular demo or otherwise particular doubts clarifying. Means which is already uh, walkthroughs, knowledge transfer, nothing but the sessions. If you are getting any doubts, okay, mm -hmm. means if you are getting any doubts, means you they will give some KT sessions. I told you right. Uh, means while you are uh, referring the documents. If you are getting any doubts at that point of time, depends upon the number of doubts they are going to put one KT session. After that, 
they will clarify your doubts at that point of time. Which session are you saying? KT. KT is nothing but knowledge transfer sessions. KT sessions. K, KT. K for kilo, K for tango. Yeah. yeah, K for king and T for uh, target. Tango. Okay. Okay. No, tango also, whatever it may be. K equals uh, KT, <laughs> knowledge transfer. Okay? This is the oh, knowledge transfer. Knowledge transfer. Okay? This is uh, this dynamic testing is nothing but what are the things, nothing but validation part will come into picture. You know that uh, means single units. Every developer, what the, what he develop, okay, just cross check himself is that working as per uh, requirement or not. That is nothing but unit testing or component testing or module testing. Okay? We will call it with the uh, number of names. Okay? Mm -hmm. Coming to the integration yeah. testing, they are going to integrate all the things okay, which is related to the programs. They are going to integrate all the programs at one place and they are, they are going to convert it as a .exe file and then they will check that is that working fine or not again once again. Okay? That is called integration and uh, unit testing plus integration testing is called it as white box testing. We will call it as white box testing or clear box testing or uh, means uh, glass box testing they will call in with the different names okay this is nothing but white box testing why they have given the type of name means nothing but we are doing the testing on the source code right we are seeing the code directly at that point of time so means if you are facing or if you are uh, getting any defects at that point of time it's very easy to rectify the problems right because you are seeing the source code right over there you know about the source code and you are, means developers will do that okay we are not going to involve in that particular white box testing i already discussed with you mm -hmm. right means developers yeah. going to involve in that particular white box testing means it is the testing is going on on that source code directly on the source code nothing but it's a clear right that's why they have given the name it as white box or clear box or glass box testing like that they are giving the names depends upon that they have given the names after that the system testing means after completion of uh, converting the particular project into .exe file they are sending it to the particular tester he is going to install that after installing the application okay he is going to do some testing or going to execute some test cases on the application Okay, nothing but system testing. For going system testing, we have lot many types of testings in that particular system testing. We are going to discuss that thing tomorrow. Okay, how many types we have? Functional types of testings are there? Non-functional types of testing there? As a tester, as a functional tester, on which part we have to concentrate? Okay, depends upon. I told you already, testing is a application dependent, time dependent, situation dependent means depends upon that we have to select the testing types okay depends upon the application we have to decide what types of testing we have to do or we have to perform on that particular action uh, particular uh, application okay those are the things will comes under system testing part means here we have to concentrate on more about system testing only except system testing you have to get some idea regarding all those things Okay, as a tester, you are going to involve only in system testing, not other than anything. Okay? Yeah. Next, the, after completion of total system testing, they will deliver to the production team. Nothing but UAT will be conducted over there. User acceptance testing will come into picture. The combination of system testing and UAT is called it as block bus testing. Okay? The combination of white box testing and black box testing is called as gray box testing. Okay, next, this is the process or overview of software testing methodologies. Okay, reviews are nothing but cross checking the activity. Okay, whatever the type, okay, depends upon the type, the review will be conducted. 